Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to do a mid-slate update for the LCK thing before I have to get out of here. Um, we're going to take a look at the Triumphant Warrior, as well as the um, as the Shock Blast. Uh, HLE smashed. Um, they didn't exactly put up the greatest score in the world, and DK can certainly uh, overtake them. And DK just uh, put up a pretty good score here, putting, what, 18 kills up on the board or so. Let me just make sure of that. Yeah, actually 19 to 12. But, you know, Fred Brian put up a little bit of a fight, and those 12 kills could come back to be important if this next game um, is not just a, you know, a DK smash. So let's just take a look at what we have here. Let's first take a look at the Triumphant Warrior. And what we did is, again, we played this kind of offbeat lineup, which, by the way, we are not duped, which is great. I mean, you look, you have these, these two guys up here are duped. Um, these two guys here are duped. And these three guys, excuse me, these one, two, three, four, five, six guys all play the same lineup. And, you know, this is this is very, very poor play in the uh, in the Triumphant Warrior. I mean, it's poor, whatever. I mean, you do the best you can. It's a poor result um, to get one, two, three, four, five, a six-way dupe in a 16-person contest. Um, hopefully, we can take advantage of that. Um, and I don't know, getting first is going to be tough, but but maybe we can get second. We'll see. So let's take a look and see what we have here. Um, so I don't think anybody's got the captain left over, um, but we'll, we'll take a look at it. Most of the people had, you know, a good HLE captain. Peanut did very well. Nobody here had it in them to take Zika. Actually, this guy's got Luca uh, Lucid uh, in the captain, which mm, this 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 two-way thing is something we actually have to keep an eye on. But let's take a look. So Kevin Robb, he's ahead of us by 56 points, but we have a full other person. Um, so he has Lucid aiming and down one Kia, and we have Lucid aiming and down one Kia, but, and we also have Klingon. But Klingon's got to get his get his act together here. I mean, a very very poor game here. Although, I mean, I was complaining about Lu Klingon and Lucid wasn't so great either. Um, so what's going to have to happen is is Lucid to overtake Kevin Robb. He's basically got to score. I mean, if they win this game, he's got to score what thirty points, something like that. So it's going to be tough, actually. I mean, this is a, that was a very, very poor performance uh, by by Klingon in the first game, and I don't, I don't know if he's going to be able to, to overcome that. Um, Doran had a very, very nice, uh, nice series there. So uh, we will, we were, we're going to see. Um, that would be a shame if we didn't catch him just because of freaking Klingon. But I, ah, you know what? The more I'm looking at it, the more it's a real possibility. All right, here, this guy got Klingon, Lucid, and Don Juan Kia. So I'm presuming aiming is going to outscore him. That's that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, Hurt only has two guys left, uh, so we have two full guys ahead of him. He shouldn't be a problem. The Dale Fish ahead of us. He's got Moham, so to our um, Klingon. So Klingon's got to outscore Moham by seven points, and he can do it pretty easily. But uh, he's got to do it. Uh, and then from behind us, you know, we we need Lucid to not have greatest game in the world um and also we need a hold off showmaker also so this is we do have a 28 point lead on these guys but he's got lucid in the captain this is going to be tough i have to say it's going to be tough to cash this i mean we need we need we need really a perfect run out here starting with Klingon, <laughs> uh, getting his head out of his you know what so it doesn't look great i'm not gonna lie in uh in in the trap from warrior for the good guys now the problem with the with the shock blast, okay, is this. Is that we is that okay, we have a bunch of of, of Hanwas, but as I mentioned, most of the Hanwa lives do not have um uh Don Juan Kia. Uh this one does, and this one is this one's actually pretty good. Uh if we can if we can get this thing going, because this one this one doesn't have delight though. But again, if this if this Don Juan Kia game can blow up, this one isn't bad. Okay, but let's just let's take a look right through. And again, it's kind of hard. Um, so from the top, 
See, these, these are interesting with the Morgan one-off because he had a very, very good game in a loss with 34. Um, so the, these could actually be very, very sneaky, these, these Morgan one-offs. And we actually have a couple of these. I think this is one. Yeah, so we have this one, with which, you know, is going to require – it's going to require some body English. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, we need Morgan to continue to have a good game and then Showmaker and Amy to also have a good game. So I think this one needs to go seven or five for us to get this one in. But this has got, this isn't bad. So it's 476 with Morgan, Showmaker, and Aiming. This one has 497 with Morgan, Showmaker, and Damon Kia. So certainly Aiming could outscore Damon Kia. Um, to get that done. So this one could be a sneaky, what's this one? This one is Morgan, Amy, and Breon. I'm not worried too much about that one. And then this guy, again, this, this one could be interesting. We're only duped with four, with a couple of people here. So this, this could be all right. So we, we can root on this one a little bit. Um, Actually, check this out. Let me just make sure this is everybody's got the same lineup here. Yeah. So this one off with Morgan, where we're sharing with like five people, could be kind of funny. You know, if, if Showmaker and Aiming go off and Morgan continues to do well, that this could actually get there. Um, because again, Klingon is just completely terrible. So we we might be able to benefit from that um with uh with another good Morgan performance here. All right. Uh, what else is is on the list here? Um, this one is just a straight three man with DK, which is duped all over the place. I'm not, I mean, I can't worry about that one. Uh, this one is another one, DK three man duped all over the place. Can't worry about that one. We need a little bit of a variance up here. This all right, we have this one. This is this one is kind of cool. Again, this is as a a, a one off of fate. Didn't have the greatest game, 17. But if he can put up another good game and then DK win like a really good game three, um, that could be interesting. Um, and then obviously we have a couple of these Breon lineups that could that could certainly get there if uh if things go well. Here's another three man. This is actually a three man with DK, but that this isn't gonna do it. I mean, they're just better lineups here, especially when we have Klingon with that terrible start. Um, this one with a, a full Breon, again, that could do something. Let's take a look at some of these four mans. Um, I'm sorry, uh, ones with four people left. So this, this top of the list here with Kevin Robb, again, this one, this one off from, from Morgan is very, very live. This one is again, a four man, but it's got Klingon. This is a four man. This four man with with this could have been a hero, but Envy got scratched. Uh, this one, this one had has a uh, this had a one a one off of Duro that isn't going to do anything. This one could be okay. Like if Morgan, if 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 in no nope, because it says Envy and Envy got scratched. Annoying. Clear one off, no good. Um, what's this? This is. Uh, this one had fear in the captain. I mean, in the in the team position, that's no good. This one had closer, one off closer, that's no good. So we we tried, okay, but it doesn't look like any of these are going to work. Um, I will say, nope. There's envy with a zero. That's too bad. So we yeah, we have a, a, a couple of tricky lineups with Morgan um, that could get there. But if I had to predict, I would say this is going to be a bad slate. Uh, for us. But we'll see. Um, good luck, everybody.